I think you're waiting for a brand new beginning here, okay? With Ace of Pentacles here. There could be someone you've had an ending with, okay? Because Aces are beginnings, right? So that could be an ending of some sort, okay? Or this is just you wanting to have a stable, secure beginning with someone or wanting a stable, secure, practical beginning within some certain aspect of your life, okay? But with Ace of Pentacles here, there's a gift from the universe that is going to be presented to you, okay? Looks like your manifestation is coming into reality. The Ace of Pentacles, again, it's a very, very small gift, okay? But it's going to take a lot of hard work in order for you to make it reach to that point of Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you're going to put in, have to put in a lot of work, effort, hard work, etc., okay? It's like a small plant, a seed. You'll have to nurture it, care for it every day for it to grow big and give you the fruits. High Priestess, you're trusting your intuition right now. The High Priestess, you could be giving someone the silent treatment. See, that's what's happening, right? You're waiting for someone to come in, but you're sitting there pretty quiet in your throne. And you're just trusting your intuition. You're letting your intuition guide you this time. You don't want to make a move. You don't want to make a move. You don't want to, you're probably, like I'm saying, I'm literally getting silent treatment. I don't think you're talking to this person right now. Like I said, there could have been some kind of distance or there is a separation or breakup between you guys. Okay, now you're just waiting for your ships to come in, okay? For the Ace of Pentacles, there's a potential of starting something brand new. But you know what I'm getting? I'm getting more like either you're starting something on your own you want to start a practical new beginning somewhere else on your own or this is just you're waiting for but you're waiting for someone else to come towards you you're, well, you're not doing anything about it no action from your side four of wands damn wow pisces what's going on four of wands here guys there's definitely someone here who wants this, who sees you as marriage material. This person definitely sees you as someone who makes them very, very happy. They definitely view you as their, as their twin flame, okay? And with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here, that, it's like you know it, Pisces. You know it. You know they're coming. But I, I'm getting, you're going to wait there and wait for them. To, I'm getting somewhere where Pisces, you want someone to realize that um, if they want you, they're going to have to come and get you, okay? But you're not going to make a move this time. See? It's just getting better and better. The situation will get better. But this is not brand new. This is something that you've probably been, been going in circles with. Okay? Knight of Pentacles. That is slow movement here, okay? There's someone who's moving towards you very slowly but very steady okay you could be dealing with a capricorn um doesn't have to be but um you're definitely dealing with someone who's a slow mover okay this person is someone not really in the best of their emotions there is an energetic difference between you guys definitely mature difference okay but again what i'll tell you is you're someone who believes more into your intuition your guides your gut feeling okay your instincts this is someone who's super duper duper practical okay someone very practical someone routine based structure based okay more routine based okay they like to do their daily course and you know like that nine to six whatever's going on right they like to go around with it this is someone who hardly has time for love all right so you could be in love with a person like this who's just too busy in their routine okay but yeah this person is probably either coming towards you but very slow moment okay baby steps but you're waiting very patiently, okay? There is no lack of patience from your side. You're not being impulsive. But yeah, whatever is coming in with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here, there's a lot of stability. And along with that, there is this uh, feeling of security along with it, okay? Happiness. There's something that you're going to get to celebrate. With the Seven of Cups here, it looks like there is going to be this period of confusion is what I'm getting, Okay. It's where you're going to have to wait, probably, or someone's going to have to make a choice, okay? The Seven of Cups is also illusions, right? It's also um, living in a dream world, not knowing what to choose, or someone who's just very greedy, someone who wants everything. But Seven of Cups to me is either you're going to have options or... Um, this is where you're just going to need to have to make a choice, okay? You're going to have to make a very practical decision, narrow down your options, and you're going to have to see what is best for you. Ace of Swords, see? another ace here whatever you're confused about Pisces 
you're surely getting clarity about it with the ace of swords here for sure again when i'm saying clarity this is not getting what you want this is getting clarity which means that whether this clarity is the harsh truth or whether it's something that was suppressed and it and it was unknown to you it's going to come out okay whatever it is it's going to come out and believe me pisces your pisces your water sign your intuition is on point okay so it's like seriously no wonder you you know with the high priestess i'm getting that very calm that very um serene kind of uh, energy right now where you're just like i know i know he's coming i know she's coming and i'm just gonna wait okay that's fine but yeah the waiting could cause you a little bit of anxiety with the seven of cups or when this person comes in there are going to be options uh either you're going to have your options open because the three of wands i said is also exploring your options but by the time this person comes in you're going to have to make a choice okay damn friends see wow pisces i don't think you're doing anything at all right now about the situation here you're sitting cool patience 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 pisces you're just gonna let it go let it flow you know what i'm getting that um that calmness before the storm i'm getting that calmness before the storm i mean the storm that comes in right the person that you're dealing with i feel the ace and the four is the person that you're dealing with okay the knight of pentacles is also them who's just making baby steps towards you who's coming in slowly towards you okay whilst you're just like yeah i know you're coming but with the temperance here i'm feeling that you're exercising a lot of self-control okay you could be very impulsive in the past you could be lacking patience you could be wanting all the answers you could have been in this uh black or white area in the past okay where you know what are we in or not are we doing this or not kind of you know but now you've learned your lessons and you realize that there is something called the gray area and that's what you're doing you're practicing that gray area right now where it's like you don't need to be an extremist okay and things will come in at the right time if it's meant for you and here we go here he is here she is the fool here this is someone who wants to take that leap of faith with you someone's finally ready to take a risk with you okay they have to fear but they're gonna do it anyway I'm getting someone really embraces this new beginning here, you know, after this period of silent treatment. I feel there's going to be a reunion here. This is a twin flame that you're dealing with. And I think with the seven of cups here, when this person comes in, you're just going to be like, I don't know what to do. Maybe this is something that you've wanted for a very long time, you know. And when you actually get it, you're going to be like, dude, I mean... Maybe you even thought that this was not going to happen because the temperance is all like, well, if it happens, if it happens, right? So it's like you almost gave up on the outcome, right? You gave up on the control of the outcome and you weren't really expecting this. And when this person comes in with a fool here, it's going to put you in a, in a spot of confusion. Like you don't know what to do about this now. You know, I was hoping, I was hoping that I would get some drama here, you know, because this would be very boring. Here we are. Here we are. There is your person, Knight of Swords. They're coming in. They're coming in. I feel this person is going to rush in with communication while you're just like doing nothing and uh, just doing what you do best. But, um, so you know what I'm getting? Let me change the story a little bit, okay? It's just for a few of you. I feel you're waiting for a practical new beginning with someone that you really, really had a lot of hopes and you thought there was a lot of potential with this person. There's been a separation or a breakup, but there's this silent treatment going on right now that you are giving this person, or probably you both are not. Uh, I mean, the, it's both of you, okay? It could be anyone. But with the four of wands here, there is this potential of someone who sees you as marriage material, and this person definitely knows that you're worth much more than just a relation, I mean, just dating. This person wants marriage with you. This person is looking at you as long term. They, make, they you make them very very happy but with the knight of pentacles here i feel you're someone right now who's focusing a lot on your career your goals okay you're very focused on your routine focus on your money hard working determined and doing you 
when this person comes in right with the seven of cups here there's going to be a lot of confusion that's going to be created because this person's going to come in and give you some clarity that they want to take this leap of faith with you they want this brand new beginning with you they want to take this risk with you earlier they were probably very dicey about it but now they're finally in with it okay and with the temperance here it's almost like go with the flow you know go with the flow i don't see you giving any reaction as yet i think you're going to take some time I think you're going to take some time with the temperance here. You're going to have a very balanced approach when this person comes towards you. And with the Knight of Swords here, they're rushing in. This person's going to bring some drama in, in your life for sure. Okay, they're definitely bringing in drama in your life. But uh, I'm getting with your approach is going to be very, um, very that cool, calm, collective things, you know. But they're coming in. They're coming in with that drama, with that conflict. But they're rushing it, okay? This is someone who needs to talk to you now. Like now, now, now. Because you've given them that um, that quiet moment and it's getting too much for them. They can't stand that silence between you guys, okay? They can't. They can't. Tell me what is the best likely outcome that Pisces can expect for the week of Jan 2021, please. What is the best potential outcome that Pisces can expect for Jan 2021? The world. Ooh. Give me one more card for the outcome, please. Give me one more card for the outcome. Give me one more card for the outcome. Give me one more card for the outcome. One more card for the outcome, please. And then one more card. Okay, that just got even more complicated. <clears throat> okay, so with the world and the eight of swords here, there's going to be a lot of overthinking and overanalyzing over this situation. Okay, with the world here, two ways. You have the option of starting a new cycle with this person. Okay, that's the best potential outcome. Okay, with the world here, either A, you choose to move forward with this person because what this person wants is the four of wands. They're coming here with this leap of faith with you. They want to start a brand new cycle with you, okay? Because there's been a completion between you guys, okay? Successful completion. You've both learned your lessons, okay? And with the world here, you have this potential of wanting to move forward, okay? Now with the world here, there's going to be a confusion here, okay? With the eight of swords here, you're going to be stuck in your head. You're going to be in a place of whether you don't know whether you want to start this new cycle with this person and take things to the next level because this is already an established relationship, guys. Okay, this doesn't look like new to me. So it's going to be up to you, okay, Pisces? Uh, because eight of swords is you being in that confusion, right? Of whether you want to move things forward with them or you want to leave it where it is, get the closure that you want and just move forward, Okay. It can be both ways, okay? So I'm going to keep that storyline open. But um, they're coming in with that clarity, okay? They're rushing in, in fact. Because, see, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is more like law of attraction, you know? Seriously. You guys are really, really manifesting this person. And now that you're getting what you want, it usually happens, right? When you get what you want, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> because, you know, what happens is sometimes... You could be very attached to this person, Pisces, okay? There could have been a time when you're very attached, very obsessed with this person. Once you start practicing law of attraction, you start practicing detachment. You start practicing that attachment leads to jealousy, and jealousy is a negative trait. And you need to run away from anything that you lose to fear, okay? That's what you did. You let go of someone who you lost, who you feared that you would lose. You focused on yourself. You were doing you. You were living in the moment, living in the present. And the universe has given them back to you. Temperance is also reconciliation. I just think you're going to be in two minds of whether you want to, like I said, right? This is how I interpret it over the world and eight of swords here. It's going to be up to you what you want to do with this person. You have the closure, okay? More than closure, I think you've got clarity. Now the 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 the, the, um, the roads are open for you. You're going to be at a crossroads. I don't see crossroads here, but to me, intuitively, I feel the road is open for you. Now, either you can move forward on your own without this person, now that this person tells you what they really want, and you get what you want, or you can just move forward and just say goodbye to this person. It's going to be up to you. Okay, it's going to be up to you. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. That's awesome, Pisces. So badass. 
so that's what i have i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye